Hey y'all, Rhonda here. Update on the die storage. If you saw one of my last uh, Timu hauls, I got in a couple of things wanting to store some of my small dies. So I have lots of dies, you know, like so, that are just in these little flimsy packages. And then some of them are, uh, see that's why you need to store them. Um, like small stamps and dies like this and the flimsy packages, so they need to be in something. So um, I got this one in. Oop, trash. This is more for pictures. Even though it's under storage, die storage or something, I don't think it would last at all. It's just really, really thin. You could maybe store ephemera in it or something. I don't know. Um, it's cute. I'll do something with it, but it's just not... I mean, it would be a perfect size for a lot of these... You know just to fit in there but you know I may use it but I'm just I don't have high hopes of it lasting for very long um, and so I got this one in and it comes it came with two of these a white one and a black one and this is like you know a pretty hard plastic and then you buy the inserts and you can buy like a full you know like one big pocket two pockets three pockets four pockets whatever so here's the one with two pockets um, two pockets. This has four pockets, which is really not, um, I don't know how that didn't even get in there. I don't know if it's coming out. Unless you have like little word dies or something, I don't really recommend the four pockets. This is one set right here, but I thought, why not? I like it because it has the little, the little, you know, um, closure <laughs> kind of thing. And if you really had a hard time with them staying in there, you could put a little teeny tiny Velcro dot on there. But so far, I mean, they're, I'm, I'm pleased. So here are, this is two pockets again. So there's a stamp uh, and the die. Same thing here. Um, a couple of these I had to trim a little bit off of the carrier sheet, which was no big deal because it was a little big anyway. Uh, just a die. So, and then you can buy the dividers. Like I said, I got these from Timu. These are not even heavy cardstock. I mean, there may be... 65 pound, I'm guessing. Um, so you could actually make these probably, you know, pretty easy. <clears throat> I mean, they were pretty inexpensive, but still you could, you know, line up the holes, you know, cut a piece of paper that size, line up the holes, you know, like with this and punch them. If you have a tab punch board, you know, you can make tabs all day long. So those you don't have to have. And again, here are the four pockets, um, which I'm just not using because, you know, my dies are bigger. So I'm really pleased with this, and yes, I would recommend this for um, die storage. I can put more in there. You can see, you know, what I have. I can put plenty more in there, and it's really not heavy. Um, <clears throat> I was a little surprised, and that keeps it closed. So I'm all about this. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Hang on, let me take a little drink of water here. You guys are getting all choked up. Um, I was going to put a link for this from Timu, but they're like, I went to order some more actually, <clears throat> and I ordered, you know, like another one of these, and then I was going to get a bunch of inserts. Well, it's only let me order like one set, which is five or 10, I don't remember which, set of like full sleeve, I mean, just like one pocket, and then one set of the two pockets, and I'm like, what's that all about? So I don't know if their inventory is low or what. With that being said, I found some on Amazon, and it's almost identical to this. Should be in tomorrow, but I will link that below, and I will show you that tomorrow. Uh, I think they're supposed to be in tomorrow or the next day. Um, but I'm real pleased with this for all these little small dies. Saying that, I got in an order from, and I know you guys will correct me. Is it... Coco, Coco, Coco Rosa, Coco Rosa. Anyway, I'm sure you guys will let me know how to say it. Um, this is the second time I've ordered from them. Um, it did take a little while to get here. I'd have to look at the exact date, but maybe a couple of weeks. Um, I think it was a little faster last time, but I did. See, that's why you need to put your dies in something. And I, I get a hold of this. Looky here trash so I haven't even opened these yet 
So um, this is kind of the same thing. Noise alert. So let's open these up and see what the what is. So I guess this is the front. I didn't tear that all the way off. No biggie. Oh, so that's cool. Okay, so that's your standard. Um, let me see if it's the same as this one. Yep, it's the six ring. I guess, you know, it's a real standard uh, size. And then you can open it like that or close it like that. So this is real. I mean, that's like really, really sturdy. And this one's the same. I don't know if I just ordered two just to see. But anyway, here's a blue and a black. And then here are the inserts were, you know, which are pretty much like identical. This happens to be the the three. So, you know, two small dies and a larger die in that. Um, and I think I just ordered these. I may, I don't even know what, if I ordered the Timu first and then these or what. But um, anyway, I think I just wanted to try and see what, what the what was. Okay, was there any others? And then these. So these are zipper pockets, actually. So they fit in there, too. They're the same same size. And I hate these. Same thing with Timu. Where's my poker tool? My pokey tool. They don't... Oh, I came off the wrong end. They don't... Um, that's weird. They don't poke these out. And they're probably made by the same company. But you got to sit and do this. <laughs> Get those little things out. Which, I mean, it, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but you think, man, if you're going to poke holes, poke them, right? Right. So, um, anyway, so these are little zippered pockets. And, was it closed? Okay. So just open them. They're pretty, you know, they're fairly thick. So, I mean, you can put a lot in that. So there's the zippered pockets, like I said, the one, and then that. So, um, I'm sure they're all fit. Um, I'm going to see the ones I got from, that I've got ordered, I have ordered from Amazon. I'm sure they'll fit in there. So that's pretty cool. And I like that. It's small. Um, I mean, from that other one, looks like it's going to hold quite a bit. So anyway, there's that. So I will link all this information below if you're interested, but I'm, I'm liking it. Like I said, for all these, these little dies that I have, dies and stamp sets, you know, these have the little, and you can't really... You know, if you want to do big sleeves and things like that, I'm just not. And these really don't have a subject. I mean, there's a lot of random stuff, so I can't, like, file them with my other things. So, anyway. But I will show you quickly what I got in from Coco Rosa. Okay. Um, paper. This is heavyweight cardstock. And I just got this in because I wanted to try. Like I said, this is my second order. 6 by 6 paper pads, heavyweight cardstock, which... Um... It's really not heavyweight. It's more of a more of a layering weight. Um, probably like a 25 pound copy paper, um, which I mean I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that's that's about what it is. So this is kind of the grungy metal looking. So I'm I'm pleased with it. I mean no no complaints there. Uh, the basics. This says heavyweight. This is 160 GSM paper, so that's it's pretty lightweight. Um, it's like it's in a plastic and a plastic. Oh, I got two of them. Okay, 12 designs, one sheet of each. Right, let's see, because you can always use good. And you can even, you know, cut this off and use it. So these are single-sided. Again, you know, about 100 and, I mean, about 25 pounds, 24 pounds, something like that. Um, copy paper, but, I mean, these are nice basics to have. So I'm, I'm not unhappy with that. All right, then we have some stencils. And has little, I guess there's a... You know, maybe you can attach them to something. But this is kind of, I guess it's supposed to be drippy blood. Let me get something behind it. Let me get this. So there's a handprint. 
There's a handprint. There's drippy stuff, um, like scratch marks, <laughs> blood spots, maybe. I don't know. Um, of course, this, the Mandela. Love that. This is Vacation Journey. So just kind of a neat, you know, for your mixed media or your junk journals. And I think that's all of the stencils. Put that away. So I know these don't look like much, um, but there's some really cool ideas that they had. So these will cut out the frames um, and then cut all this out. So it's, it's really super cool what all this one does. This one is super cool. I love the rose, but you cut out like four of these. This panel right here, of course the rose comes out and you actually score it and you make like a, um, it's a 3D card in the middle, how you put them together. I'll, I'll insert a picture right there. Um, but you glue these together in a way it makes a little square in the middle and anyway the card can lay flat but I just thought it was super cool something different all right and then this one the moon stars sun I wish they had pictures but they don't and then books so you can stack them this way or that way so there's the books and then there's an outer layer and then we have some jazzy cats <laughs> Um, so there's the saxophone. So that's what they're doing. They're not being, well, you could use them as mummies. <laughs> Look, I mean, they could be scary, couldn't they? Or you could put the saxophones in their hand and they could be, you know, hip to the jive. I just thought those were cool. This, I know this is crazy. Okay. I'm gonna have to insert a picture here too. Cause this is actually, um, party hats. I know, right? That's crazy. This is a wild one, so it cuts out all these little squares. So you have books, and there's a little helicopter, so it's like a shelving unit. All these books up here, a little car. I mean, tons of stuff, an old camera. There's um, trophies, little knickknacks, just all kinds of cool stuff. And you know, a girl loves her steampunk. So this is gonna cut into the page. It's not gonna cut this out around. It's gonna cut all of this detail into the page. So that's something really cool. And then I actually got this for um, Debbie that I work with. She's, I don't know the deal. Um, I don't know if it's in Australia or I don't, somewhere. Anyway, they watch Gertrude the giraffe. I don't know her name, but anyway, there's some giraffe. She had a baby last year. There's a group of them that were watching. They all sent giraffe cards to each other. So they do this all the time. So I, did, yeah, I just thought these were just super cool giraffes. So anyway, I thought she might like that one. Uh, they did something really cool with this because I looked at this and I'm thinking, I bought this? Hmm. But anyway, they did something super cool with this. But uh, there's one, two, three dies, layering dies on there. And then this was actually a free gift. Some stamps there. Very nice. Thank you for that. And then I'm going to have to insert another picture here because you won't believe what this is. Okay, guess. Nope. Nope. No, okay, here it is. I know, right, isn't that crazy? That's why they should put pictures on here, but they don't. And not just this company, all the companies. And then this, I don't know why I got this, but I just thought it was cool. It's umbrellas, a whole bunch of different umbrellas. I know. And then I must've really liked this because I bought this twice. <laughs> it's a layering die. Um, I mean, you know, you layer these pieces on top of each other. It was really cool. And I actually took the other one to work because here in Branson, we have the Sight and Sound Theater. A lot of you guys know what that is. Um, there's one up in uh, P uh, Pennsylvania. And so the show is there. And then after a year or two run, they bring it down here. Um, and then it just keeps keeps going. And so they have like Noah's Ark. They've had Jonah. Um, 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 Mo um, Moses. They've had, I don't know, all kinds of, you know, their stories of the Bible. Well, right now it's Queen Esther. And so their um, poster, their advertising poster, has something like this layered up. There's kind of a door, um, you know, that's lights coming out of it. And then you see a silhouette of Queen Esther. And so we do make dies, uh, I mean, die cuts for, we order them and make them, depending on what it is, for all the shows and events here in town. So you can come in and like, if you're going to go see the Hay Goods or the Presley's Theater or... Uh, Dolly Parton Stampede or whatever, we have die cuts for that. So we make them for, of course, the Sight and Sound Theater. So you can come in and just get your die cut and, you know, help put your scrapbook page together. But anyway, so I got this, took it to work to see if we could use it. Um, 
for the Queen Esther show. Anyway, so I think that's all I have for now. Um, I'm ready to, I gotta make something, gotta make something. I was making a little folio thing, um, working on that, working on a bunch of stuff. So anyway, I will turn the camera on and we will do some playing, but I wanted to give you an update on the, um, die storage because several of you had asked about that. So yes, yes, yes. I will link this information below and it's just, I, like I said, I'm pleased with it because you can just thumb through there and look and pull it out very easily. And like I said, you could put you know, a lot more in there. Um, so anyway, yeah, Amazon, this is Timu, and this is that Coca Rosa, if I'm saying that right. So I will link the information, and like I said, if you have any more questions, let me know. Talk to you later. Bye.